Hey folks, good afternoon. Fred here. Uh, VE 3FAL Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, YQT. So today, James and myself did an install of uh, this winch, a uh, 2,500 pound winch onto the Hawkeye because the Hawkeye did not have uh, a winch installed. So I purchased one off of Amazon. I purchased a fair lead also off Amazon. Uh, the fair lead came today, the winch came a while ago. So uh, we did the install today. I know it's pretty sunny. It was a hot day today here. Uh, we did hit uh, 25 degrees centigrade today uh, here in Thunder Bay, actually 25, 26. So anyway, I went to James's house this morning around 10 o'clock. Um, this quad is extremely light. It's small, uh, but a winch is always required. Um, you know, in case you get stuck, uh, snow, ice, uh, pull another quad out, just, just different things a winch is required. Uh, and it makes uh, really good use uh, of your quadding time. Uh, so anyway, I did, I did buy this, uh, this winch, 2,500 pounds. I did some measuring of the uh, winch uh, before I purchased the fair lead. So I got an eight inch aluminum fair lead. Um, the winch fits just nicely under the, the bumper guard here uh, or the front guard, whatever you want to call it here on the Polaris. And uh, we used a piece of steel. It's actually a holder for planer knives. So it's extremely hard steel uh, we marked it, drilled it, painted it, uh, put it in and installed it and put the winch in. So now I have a winch and actually the, uh, let me open this up for you here. The uh, remote is a handheld remote, which is fine. You guys can see the wires here. We ran the wires through and up into the battery box in the uh, front compartment. So you guys can see the battery and here is the, uh, the handheld here, that's my spare spark plugs in there. So here's the handheld control, okay? Uh, right side is winch out, winch in on the left, uh, connected to the battery there, so you guys can see that. So that is the uh, winch control for the Polaris Hawkeye. Um, so I guess one thing I should mention, and I don't know if a lot of people do mention it, um, and once again, a winch is extremely useful. If you get stuck in snow, mud, uh, slide off the trail, whatever, the trail's too steep to, you know, if you're not comfortable climbing a, a hill or rocks, wet rocks, uh, winch is, is great to help pull you up. Uh, you won't flip, things like that, that can occur if uh, you're a new rider or even an experienced rider can have a mishap. Um, but I think something that some people don't think about is what if you have nothing to tie off to? whether it's trees, you know, whatever the case might be, depending on where you are, what do you use and what can you use? So there's a number of items you can use. You can use logs, you can use rocks, you can use logs and rocks, but you should be carrying, or you could carry with you, a steel bar, a small piece of steel, doesn't have to be a lot, uh, you know, a foot, foot and a half, Generally, you're always carrying an ax or a saw in the box here on the front or the back. You're always gonna carry something like that for the trails anyway. So if you have a, a bar, you know, a, a foot, foot and a half, um, and your ax or your hammer with you, whatever the case might be that you've got, you can always pound the bar into the ground, even in the winter time, hook the winch up, even if you have to winch out, you know, a foot at a time, and then reset your stake, and go again uh, small trees will work if you get to the roots but you have to get to the uh, you know to the base of the trees so once you get to the base of the small trees you can actually tie off and uh, you can pull yourself up through any hill uh, snow and, and things like that that uh, might be causing you the issues so again you know and even the, the you know rocks you can uh, 
<laughs> put rocks on top of a log if you put a, a log down on the ground throw some rocks on just anything to get some grip and to get a little bit of a hold and pull you out of uh, whatever circumstance you may or might be in uh, good tires of course are always a uh, prerequisite these are brand new tires this year uh, on the Hawkeye um, so now we've got the tires on here uh, it's only a small you know four-wheel on-demand four-wheel drive quad uh, but it's quite the little workhorse and like I said, we finally got the uh, the uh, winch uh, installed. So, James Reller, thank you. And uh, it was a good morning uh, getting that installed. And I actually look forward to using it. So, uh, five stars so far. You know, thumbs up to uh, the purchase I made. The, the winch does work well. We've, uh, we've ran it out, ran it in so far. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it pulls out. Uh, but for now, I'm quite happy with it. I didn't need, like I said, I didn't need anything extremely uh, heavy or extremely large for the quad because this is just a light quad uh, and a small quad uh, as it is. So, all right, folks, take care. Have a great Thursday. Have a great remainder of the week, uh, the week and a great weekend coming up. So stay safe, take care of each other, and remember, watch out for the other person. The other person may not be watching out for you. In Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, YQT, this is Fred. Victor Echo 3, France, America, London 7-3. Stay safe.